So I just asked these three Google interns what projects did they build to get them a job at Big Tech and their answers surprised me. So in this video, I'm going to cover six project ideas from real Google interns and what are the projects that they build, what are some inspirations that you can take from it and learn about what they did to get a job at Big Tech and how you can build similar projects as well. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So let's start with the first project idea. The first project idea is AI driven call insights. So what does this project do? This project is about having AI driven call insights given to you. The text that they have used is they have used Twilio to get the fetch the data from call logs, from call insights. And they have also used Flask and OpenAI's Whisper for sentiment analysis, for transcription. And they have basically for the AI part, they have used OpenAI's Whisper. So Flask, Twilio and OpenAI's Whisper is all the three technologies that they use to build this AI driven call insights. The next project that they built is Should I Bunk? So I like this project because it's very realistic, it's very relatable. So if you are a college student, yes, you have to bunk classes. Everyone does that. But you also need to keep a track of your attendance, 75% attendance that you have. First, a mobile app that is going to take your class attendance, your exams, when are they coming? And it's going to use logistic regression to predict whether you should or you can bunk today or you can't bunk today. That they used here is React Native, they used Python and they used ML logistic regression to predict and make this app. So I love this idea because it's very realistic. It's exactly it solves a problem for students so it's good in that way too are you planning to build gen ai projects for college applications let me share something first companies are not paying attention to people with traditional programming skills they are paying 30 to 50 lpa to ai engineers but traditional software engineers or general software engineers they are struggling to find jobs by 2030 basic coding skills will be redundant and it won't be in the market anymore the student who understands ai tools machine learning and can build smart applications they'll be the one who will get the right opportunity it's not about being left behind it's about being ready for what's coming and this is why i got excited when i learned about mirai school of technology as someone working at big tech i can see exactly where the tech industry is heading and mirai is preparing students for that future what makes Mirai special? They are giving AI first BTEC in AI and machine learning through AICT Partner College. Here, instead of outdated computer science subjects, you learn what actually matters, which is neural networks, deep learning, computer vision, and natural language processing. The campus has dedicated tools with professional grade equipment, the same tools we actually use at Google. While other companies are still teaching theory, Mirai will be hands-on with real AI projects from day one. Here's what I love most. Every student gets a MacBook and access to premium AI tools. Plus you get industry certifications from Google, Microsoft. The placement support includes one-on-one -on -one mentorship, portfolio building, and mock interviews that prepare you for top companies. And having worked at Google, I can tell you this kind of preparation makes a huge difference. If you want to work at companies like Google, Meta, or Microsoft, AI engineering is your best path forward. The BTEC AI ML program free at Mirai is rupees 10 lakh for four years. But good news, top scorers in the Mirai national screening test will get a huge scholarship, reducing the total fee significantly. But yes, only the top 20% get selected and the exam date is on July 16th and the applications close on July 15th. If you're serious about your future in tech, this could be the decision that changes everything. Don't wait. Do go ahead and check out the link in my description and in the pinned comment below. So the third one is super practical, which is a job application tracker dashboard. I love this idea and the intern actually told me that they built it for themselves. So they built it because they were applying to 100 plus jobs and they wanted a good way to keep track of their application, whether they were at the interviewing stage, whether they were at the resume screening stage, or if they got a follow back, or if they were waiting to hear back from the recruiter. It helped them keep a track of all of the applications. It helped them keep a track of their job applications. And the technologies that they used is also pretty simple. They used React Native, they used Node.js, they used MongoDB. So this is super practical. It actually, they built it for themselves. And this was actually the project that actually got them noticed and got their resume shortlisted. Okay, so the fourth project is very cool again. It's an AI resume analyzer. So imagine how many times you have uploaded your resume 
and then again you will hear feedback from people that this it's missing keyword it's not matching the job description it's not ads friendly so what this does is that you upload the job description you upload your resume and it will give you exactly the score and whether you are a fit for this job it's helpful because it's very realistic it is going to help you in getting your resume shortlisted and in turn actually use this to optimize the resume for their big tech role and they actually got that offer again all you have to do is react you need to use open ai's api and that's all you need so python open ai's api and react and you are good to go the fifth idea is an interview question generator i personally love this idea so whenever you're applying to any companies whenever you're applying to any roles you want that you want to have a company specific interview question guide and this project is built exactly for that so imagine you're applying to a data analyst role at amazon or you're applying to some research scientist role at microsoft or you are applying to a software engineer role at linkedin or uber you will have a personalized interview generated interview questions generated according to the job role and everything that you need by this they used node.js they used next.js for the ui and they used open ai's or hugging face models and one thing i really like is that they also added a mock interview feature so based on those questions you can have a mock interview where the ai will ask you some questions and you have to reply so it's a very good practical tool that you can use for your job application and it also is a pretty good tool which actually got them shortlisted and finally the last one which i swear i am going to use as well deadline manager everybody needs this every college student needs this every working professional needs this so i want to know when i'm going to complete that assignment when i have to complete that assignment or now as a corporate employee when i have to do that bug or i have to get that project delivered deadline manager is a tool for all so all it does is python to scrape all of your portals so any portal that you have you can use python to scrape that you can use twilio to send you messages on whatsapp or sms i definitely need a reminder when i'm approaching a deadline and the other thing that you can use is the react for your front end so that's it and you have a deadline manager a lovely tool for you which you can use so overall that's it for the video and now let's talk about some things that were common across these projects that you can use as well number one thing is that they all solve a problem that needs to be solved right so let's take for example the deadline manager right you need it to manage your deadlines you need it for your college life you need it for your corporate life so it solves a problem that needs to be solved right the other thing is most of them have used an ai tool so like either open ai's models hugging face models so they have all integrated ai in some way and the other thing is they have done both the back end and the front end so in general full stack projects get shortlisted more than either only front end or back end related projects so they have used react they have used node.js they have used mongodb they have used streamlit they have used twilio they have used hugging face models so this front end and this back end this everything that you need and they have built it so if you see that number one thing it solves the real life problem number two thing they have used both front end and back end and number three they have solved a personal problem for themselves that even if they don't get shortlisted they're still going to use the projects so if you are building a project just ask yourself that would you use it the answer is yes then your project is actually good and that's it for the video i hope you liked it make sure you subscribe comment and like this video for more such videos and i will see you in my next one until then bye bye